Are you a nursing student that wants to cut your study time by over 60%? Well, you can head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube and sign up for free. Hey, nursing students, welcome to another episode of Pharmacology in Practice, where we're bringing real life patient case studies to help you better understand and remember pharmacological concepts. Today, we'll be exploring two different medication classes, stimulants used in treatment of ADHD, that attention deficit, hyperactivity disorder, and also benzodiazepines, which are commonly prescribed for anxiety disorders. So let's start with the stimulant medications, which are widely used for management of ADHD. These medications include methylphenidate, brand name Ritalin, amphetamine, and even dextroamphetamine, brand name Adderall. These guys work by increasing the levels of certain neurotransmitters inside the brain, such as dopamine and norepinephrine. By simply enhancing neurotransmitter activity, these stimulants can improve focus, attention, and even concentration, while reducing impulsivity and even hyperactivity in individuals with ADHD. So meet Alex, a 10-year-old boy who's been struggling with inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity at school as well as home. After comprehensive evaluation, Alex is diagnosed with ADHD. Alex's pediatrician recommends starting him on methylphenidate, brand name Ritalin, a stimulant medication commonly used to treat ADHD. The doctor explains to Alex and his parents how the medication works and the potential side effects, as well as the importance of monitoring his response. So Alex begins taking a low dose of this methylphenidate each morning before school. Within a few weeks, his parents and teacher notice a significant improvement in his ability to focus, stay on task, and even follow instructions. Regular follow-up appointments are scheduled to monitor Alex's progress, to adjust the dose if needed, and address any concerns. This case study perfectly illustrates the use of stimulant medications like methylphenidate in managing symptoms related to ADHD and also highlights the importance of proper diagnosis, proper dosing, and monitoring by the HCP. Next, let's discuss benzodiazepines, a medication commonly used to treat anxiety disorders and other conditions. So benzodiazepines end in PAM and LAM. For example, lorazepam, brand name Ativan, diazepam, brand name Valium, and even alprazolam, brand name Xanax. These guys work by enhancing the effects of GABA inside the brain, a neurotransmitter that promotes calmness and relaxation in the brain. So these medications provide rapid relief from anxiety symptoms, including excessive worrying, restlessness, and even muscle tension. Now for a case study. Meet Sarah, a 28-year-old patient with a history of generalized anxiety disorder, GAD. Despite trying various coping strategies and even therapies, Sarah's anxiety has been worsening, affecting her daily function and quality of life. Now during a visit with her psychiatrist, Sarah reports experiencing excessive worrying, restlessness, and even difficulty sleeping. After a thorough evaluation, the psychiatrist recommends to start Sarah on lorazepam, brand name Ativan, a short-acting benzodiazepine, to help manage her acute anxiety symptoms. The psychiatrist explains the potential benefits, also the risks, and even side effects of this lorazepam, including the possibility of sedation, dizziness, and physical dependence with prolonged use. Oh my gosh, that sounds intense. Sarah is instructed to take the medication as needed for acute anxiety episodes, or even before bedtime to aid sleep. Regular follow-up appointments are also scheduled to monitor Sarah's response, even adjust the dose if necessary, and continue exploring long-term strategies, such as CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, and even lifestyle modifications, all to address her underlying anxiety disorder. This scenario and case study perfectly demonstrates the use of benzodiazepines, like lorazepam, that short-term adjunct to other therapies for managing those acute anxiety symptoms, while emphasizing the importance of close monitoring and developing a comprehensive treatment plan for anxiety disorders. In this video, we've explored two different types of medication classes, stimulants used in treatment of ADHD and benzodiazepines used for anxiety disorders. By connecting these pharmacological concepts with relatable patient case studies, we hope you better understand and remember the indications, mechanism of actions, and even clinical applications of these medications. Remember, nursing students, understanding pharmacology is crucial for providing safe and effective care for your future patients. So stay tuned for more pharmacology in practice videos, but we'll continue to bring pharmacology to life through engaging patient scenarios. So remember, don't be scared, be prepared. Looking to cut your study time in half? Head on over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube. You can sign up for free and get access to all of this.